striker, what do you need to be looking for when you're in the box? The net. Okay, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got when you're, a, when you're a striker or anybody that's inside the box, um, you have to be looking for placement rather than power inside the box all the time. Obviously, when you're hitting for placement, you're going to hit it with a little bit of power, but you're looking for that finesse touch, right? Looking for the corners. It's a little cliche, but it's what works. The goalkeeper usually sets himself up in the center, depending on where you are, and you're looking. Think about a PK when you take a PK, right? Are you looking to drill it or are you looking to place it? It should be the same concept with inside the box. When you're inside the box, should you hit it first touch or like what depends? Like what tells you what to hit it, like first touch or second touch? The determining factor uh, between first touch or two touch finish will be uh, the time. So you're always looking over your shoulder and the pressure, right? If you have pressure or immediate pressure on you, then you have to look to finish first time. And again, you're looking for the same things where the keeper is and you're looking to place it hard, right? Um, if you have a little bit more time, you look over your shoulder, there's nobody there, no immediate pressure from the goalkeeper, then that tells you to take a touch and then finish. Or like one-on-one -on -one with a goalie or have a player in front of you, like where would you shoot it and what part of your foot? It depends. If you're one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, it depends what you want to do. Is the goalkeeper out? Are you going to chip in? Are you going to do a move, dribble around them, what are you going to do? Are you going to take him one way and go against the grain? Uh, for me, inside the box means normally inside the foot placement finish, right? If you're technical enough to use your shoelaces to finish, then you can go ahead with that. But there's more, um, there's more margin of error using the inside of the foot. It's a, it's a larger surface, right? And you can manage and plus when you open up the hips, right, it'll throw the goalkeeper off. That's why usually they hit with the ends. And if the goalkeeper's front post, you want to go back post strong, maybe that's when you start using the shoelaces. Or if you want to drive it on top of the goalkeeper, that's when you use the shoelaces. During this drill, you are maximizing your ability to finish in the bottom corners. Make sure you use plenty of repetition. Practice makes perfect. Feeling like a sound gear. Driving towards the sun with a rose and a gun. Feel the wind in my hair. Going nowhere, I swear. Eventually, you want to add the pressure and presence of a defender, but without this, there is no gain in this exercise. Now we're going to work on in air finishes, finding the top corner. Say what will you do with your life? 